here from the Wolf Hunters. How's it going? How's it going? We have a reaction video for you all. This link below me can be found in the description box. And when you click it, you can submit your reaction video requests there. Um, you could request lots of different things like movie scenes, comedy skits, compilations, of course, music and music videos, uh, live performances, all these things um, at the same time you know, in many different requests, you know? So you can do it there at the link below me, which is found in the description box. Today's video, though, has been brought to you guys by Lenu, bringing us Hanoi Rocks back to the mystery city. Lenu says, I'd like to introduce you to a Finnish band which whose story ends too early. Oh. Hanoi Rocks were a Finnish rock band formed in 1979. They were the first Finnish band to chart in the UK. And they, wow, that's awesome. And they were also popular in Japan. By 1984, the band was considered to be on the verge of an international breakthrough when they released their first major label album for CBS and headed for their first US tour. The tour was, however, cut short when their drummer, Nicholas Razzle, Dingley died in a drunk driving accident with Vince Neil behind the wheel in December of 1984. That is heart wrenching. Mm -hmm. The band never recovered from the loss and announced their split in June of 1985. Hanoi Rocks has been cited as a major influence in the glam metal genre for bands such as Guns N' Roses, Skid Row, and Poison. Today, band singer Michael Monroe is well is a well-known rock artist who is touring with his band. He released his first solo album in 1987. He had performed with Stephen Van Zant, Slash, Stephen Tyler, Brian Adams, Alice Cooper, and more. It wasn't e easy to choose a song for you. There's lots of options from the 80s. Hopefully you like this. From Lanu from Finland. Cool. Right. That was like a that's a that, I, story. Yeah, you know, I I love that you told us that backstory. That is, I mean, that is a uh, a story that ends too early. Um, how heartbreaking, you know, yeah. just on the verge of the dream. And I mean, it sounds like they got a taste of the dream. Yeah. You know, um, most bands are not packing or planning an international tour by five years in. So that is just it. that that speaks to how incredible they were. Yeah. So let's let's see. Let's check it out. Hit the like button, subscribe. Back to Mystery City live in Cool. Is I like, love his voice. It is like the epitome of glam metal on this stage. I love the that. The swag is awesome. Absolutely. The energy is hype. That, so good. That drummer is killing it back there. <laughs> wow. My goodness. No 
is just nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. Breaking yeah. because Jesus that ke the chemistry on that stage was wild. Was I mean, they were just incredible. Yeah, I feel like their sound can can even carry to like today's era. Oh right? yeah, I mean, definitely. Yeah, hopefully we hear more from them. They were they really rocked. Uh, thanks so much for that one, guys. If you want to request your own personal reaction video, this link right here can be found in the description box below the video. Click the link you can request movie scenes, comedy skits, music, compilation videos, anything with the YouTube link, pretty much. Uh, hit like and subscribe. Stay tuned. Stay positive. We love you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. I just wanna bang my bed.